So let's look at this Option D November 2011 paper. We're going to first look at the question, define the term allele frequency. So this particular question is one of the definitions that you need to know, and it, surprisingly enough, it's a pretty much what it sounds like. So it's a frequency of a particular allele in proportion to all copies of that particular allele that there are. So you'd put on the new on the numerator the number of copies of that particular allele, and on the denominator you put in the total number of different allele copies there are. That's the easy question. The next question is comparing genetic and cultural evolution in humans. So I want to talk about whenever I see a compare question, then I'll usually put it into a tabular format, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm putting cultural evolution on the left, and uh, genetic evolution on the right. And what I want to talk about with these is the transfer. So how is cultural evolution and genetic evolution transferred from individual to individual and who can be transferred who it can be transferred to. The final thing I've written down is the speed. Cultural evolution is much faster as opposed to genetic evolution. Before we get ahead of ourselves, let's talk about um, how it's transferred. So cultural evolution is um, acquired via learning. So it's, uh, it is acquired from the environment, whereas genetic um, evolution obviously comes from genes and it's genetically inherited. So, so after we talked about how, then we want to talk about who. Cultural evolution can be transferred from individual to individual and they don't have to be related. For example, if you read a book, you don't have to read your mother's book. You can read any person's book and you'll still gain that knowledge, um, which is essentially cultural evolution. That's a, this is as opposed to genetic evolution where if you were to if you wanted to get genes from a particular person, you'd have to be related to them. Third point now, the speed. Cultural evolution occurs at a very rapid pace and genetic evolution occurs at a much slower rate. And this is evidenced by the fact that, say, the, the dinosaurs, uh, they died out 65 million years ago and it took a long time for um, any evolution to uh, really occur. It takes millions of years. And this is as opposed to cultural evolution where um, cultural changes can occur in hundreds or thousands of years. Now I'm getting ahead of myself again, but uh, let's talk about the final point, which I haven't mentioned, um, which is the fact that genetic evolution is was um, important in the early phases of human evolution. So this is during the evolution from uh, primate to humans, and this is as opposed to cultural evolution.